to share everything I can share with everybody I love. Mm -hmm. This is the, the meaning of my life. Well, I'd say that uh, you need to build good friendships, people that will allow you to be yourself. And uh, just, you know, because you can't really be happy unless you're doing what you want to do. And uh, it's good to do that around people that you care about. What makes your life meaningful? My family. My family? Yeah. And how about you? What makes your life meaningful? Same family, friends. Just enjoy every day as much as you can and just hopefully live your life as long as you can. My little niece. Loads of things like that, family and friends. My work, uh, my family, and my health. My faith is my true north. Be content, but not all the time, because you let a lot of things pass by if you're too complacent. So I've taken a few chances in my time, and I've had bad times and very good times, and now I'm very happy. Being happy and being healthy, and having lots of good friends, having like yes. mum, having just... I think, you know, whilst money's wonderful, it's just the icing on the cake. You've got to have everything underneath. You've got to have all those building blocks of, like, your health, you know, your friends, just genuinely feeling loved and just content. And, and also, I think it's not just wanting ridiculous things and, and always wanting more. You know how some people, we were talking about Elizabeth Taylor, how she's been married all these times. I mean, she's looking for something that doesn't exist. And yes. I think so many people think there's something better around the corner and sometimes what you've got is just the best thing you can possibly want. So you should just be happy with what you've got, really. Yeah. What makes your life meaningful? My husband. Yeah. And um, getting up every day and doing what I want to do with my life. It's taken me a while to uh, get to the point where I'm in a place that I'm happy with, but yeah, I guess figuring out what that place is. Have people around you that care about you, that you care about, who give as much to you as they take <laughs> instead of the other way around, and find something to do with your life that makes you happy. What makes a meaningful life? Wow. <laughs> Uh, a meaningful life is accomplishing what you want uh, with the people you want to do it with. Yeah, well, you know, just hang in there and never give up on anything. Just keep hanging there and if you give up, it's get worse. If you keep going, you have to keep going. You can't let it. Well, look at me. I don't have much thing on my stand, but I don't give up. I keep going because once you give up, it's all down the hill. I think relationships you have with other people make it meaningful. Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> uh, being able to share it with people that I love, um, doing a job that I feel makes a difference in the in my life and the lives of others. My grandfather, he's currently 98 years old, um, but his mind is still like a bear trap. And uh, he went to Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, and had to leave um, two years after because the Great Depression hit. And I was able to get him honored at Morehouse last summer, 79 years after he left, um, just because he was, you know, a pioneer and could remember being in the same room as W.E.B. Du Bois and, you know, all that, all that great history. And so for him to be able to smell his flowers while he's still alive, so to speak, um, was, was, gave meaning to my life. It, it helped me. It was, it was a happy moment for me because it was a happy moment for him. I'd like to share with you some tips for embracing a meaningful life. There are things that you can do that will open up your connection to yourself and others, get you um, more in touch with your whole being. Meaning again is about connection, being present, feeling awe, and that can't happen if you're disconnected, stressed, um, or carrying a lot of burden. So let's see how these work for you. Spend time outdoors every day. Whenever possible, get outside, and not just outside to breathe the air, but outside to observe nature. Even in the dead of winter, there's something to observe about your environment, um, the lack of greenery, or how the snow has fallen, or getting your feet in the grass in the summertime, touching something that has to do with nature. Just being in nature every day is a way to start awakening your senses again. Find time, at least 10 minutes a day, to just be with yourself. And by that, there could be an action involved. I mean journaling or meditating or thinking about what you're grateful for. 
Um, a lot of times when I ask people to take time for themselves, they think, oh, look at a magazine, watch TV by themselves. And that's not what I mean. I mean really alone with yourself. Communicate what you feel more often. I think a lot of people will edit themselves, not communicate things, not just negative news, good things and bad. And the beauty of communicating is almost like you're, you're clearing your energy every time you get something out. Um, now, of course, we don't want to be yelling at people right and left. You want to find ways to constructively share your negative feedback. But when you clear, when you communicate, you're leaving the channel open to feel connected to yourself. And the truth equals connection. Connection equals meaning. Use your talents. A lot of us are excited about getting a new job, and then years into it, we forget why we were even there in the first place. So you, people need to revisit their own talents, their own strengths, and make sure you're using them. Because if you're not, that's when you disconnect and don't feel like you're, you have meaning in your work. Um, if there is no room at your job to use those things, make sure you're using your talents outside of work. It's important for you, it's almost like turning on the faucet and bringing your life energy out. If you're not using that life energy, you're going to feel deadened, you're going to feel dull, you're not going to feel that things are meaningful to you. Begin to plan your life to be about more than just your personal benchmarks and milestones. What I mean by that, um, and I think it's very conducive of the time we're in right now, is that when you think of something bigger than yourself, um, you're propelled to a new way of being. Um, I think most, a lot of us worry about hard times, money, finances, all the things that are over our head clouding our thinking. And yet it's a whole other way of being to say, okay, I'm going to trust that those things are going to be taken care of and I'm going to start thinking about where my energies could go towards something bigger than me, whether it's a community project or it's something in your job or it's um, something you want to invent or create. To start thinking of how you can have a greater part of service in the world is going to definitely connect you to the feelings of meaning. Become more conscious of how you impact the people around you and your surroundings. You know, we think no one's looking, nobody notices, and most of us aren't conscious enough to say, okay, if I do this now, how is that going to affect people next year? Or how will that affect my family five years from now? So to bring that level of consciousness to our thinking and start thinking in terms of how do my actions count? How do my actions cause a ripple effect? and start acting from that awareness. That's a whole different lifescape, if you will, um, rather than the nitty gritty of the daily grind. And you can still be in the same job, in the same world, doing the same thing, but with this heightened awareness, start bringing much more meaning to every action that you take. And finally, notice where you are apt to disconnect, where you shut down in a conversation, where you might shut down in a work meeting, where you might just say, oh, forget it, there's nothing I can do about it. And start noticing how often you might do that. Those are the places where you're cutting off the opportunity to connect and the opportunity to create meaningful change for yourself and the people around you. So just, you know, it's all about awareness. That's what meaning is. It's a raised state of consciousness. It's about being aware, being respectful, being compassionate, and being a full human being. That's what makes a meaningful life. It is not a mystery. It is not a science equation. It's being, walking, and living and breathing through life with your eyes wide open. Thanks for listening. Thanks again for joining us today. For more information about Laura Bermaforkang or her book, The Little Book on Meaning, or any of the upcoming Tartar Talks programs, please join us at our website, which is www.tartarbooks.com. And as always, we'd love to hear from you, and you'll find an email on the website. And please send us emails, give us your experience, give us your suggestions. We'd love to hear them. We might even read one of your emails on a future program. So again, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time on Tartar Talks.